Thanks for tuning into another newly listed on the CSE clip. I'm Anil Mall. I represent the CSE. And today I am talking to Randy Duguay. Randy is the CEO of AIML Innovations Inc. Randy, thank you so much for joining us. Talk to us a little bit about AIML Innovations. What is your vision and what is what do you guys do? Great. So first I want to talk about what AIML stands for. So AI stands for artificial intelligence and ML stands for machine learning. And this is a really growing area of, of interest for many people in new technology and innovation. And it's really applying intelligent systems uh, to address a lot of important problems that exist in the world using, uh, using these really high powered computing systems and software solutions. And so AIML Innovations is, is really there to invest in organizations that are providing for leading edge uh, services and solutions that take advantage of those kinds of assets. And we're really looking to expand around those solutions and those companies as we go forward. Got it. So what was the strategy behind taking a company like AIML uh, public? Well, I, I'm also a, a key part of the first asset of AIML Innovations, which is HealthGage. And so I'm actually joining AIML Innovations uh, in as part of my role with, uh, with HealthGage. And so I, uh, I have a lot of background in new technology innovations uh, for decades now. And so we, we decided to get into the public market largely because there's such in incredible interest in digital technology, internet of things and applied uh, artificial intelligence and intelligent systems. And you really have to bring together a very specialized team to make that, uh, to make that work. And there's only certain parts of the world where you can create those kinds of teams and address those kinds of market interests. And so for the initial investment focus for AI ML innovations, it is in digital health. And digital health is an incredibly large opportunity for society uh, that has not actually been fully exposed or addressed yet. It's worth over $250 billion. When you look at the Internet of Things or IoT and artificial intelligence based uh, solutions, and so we're really seeing a tremendous amount of market interest in companies like ours. And frankly, it's really important for us to be able to tap into that market interest and to, and to grow and to address, uh, address those market needs a lot faster. Now, you, you mentioned the team a little bit. Can you talk to us about some of your key team members? Well, if for sure. And so I'll just start briefly with myself. And so Randy Duguay, I'm CEO and the CEO of both HealthGage and AIML Innovations and how they're working together. Uh, and I have over 30 years of experience now in technology, 25 years at TELUS Communications, 10 of which was in uh, TELUS Health Solutions. So I was one of the first members of TELUS Health and worked on a tremendous amount of, of uh, different areas in commercialization and new product development. Uh, Bruce Batichuk, my uh, Chief Technology Officer, uh, is somebody who has, again, over 25 years of experience in creating part, uh, new startup innovations uh, a lot of artificial intelligence based uh, solutions and he knows how to build really strong teams that uh, that are that are really cutting edge. I want to really uh, uh, speak to uh, uh, Tim Daniels, who's the executive chairman of our company and uh, Tim and I met uh, just last year and Tim has incredible experience in, in public markets, as well as a, as a being a significant strategic business leader. Uh, in, uh, in addressing uh, companies and helping them grow and expand. And so Tim uh, is playing an incredible part in helping us uh, you know, really get into serving investors' interests uh, in these new areas. Uh, and our team is made up of, uh, of a number of, of uh, really highly skilled, highly, high talented re resources in software and computer engineering, uh, all with masters at PhD or PhD level. And, in Canada, and many people don't know this, but Canada has some really, really significant highlight areas uh, that that where you can generate these kinds of solutions and, and bring these ta this talent in. And that's in Edmonton, and of course, we see some some other great things going on in Toronto, Montreal. But for us, we can really tap into a great a great set of capabilities in, in focusing, especially on health sciences, uh, which is uh, which is really fantastic for us. Randy, I imagine there's a, a lot of competition when it comes to this space. What would you say are a couple of factors that differentiates a company and team like AIML from some of your peers in the space? 
Well, yeah, good question. And, and it's absolutely true. In fact, you know, when we think about digital health and, and these, these, these new innovative uh, activities that are being, being worked on, uh, you know, there's, it's just huge. And frankly, it's really noisy. And so a lot of people are frankly really confused about, about what, what should they be looking at? What should they be working with? And so they're, they're, they're so disparate that they're, they're, unint they're unintegrated. They're, they're just presenting very general basic information. So we're differentiating by creating a full stack solution that's focusing not just on the wearable device, but on the high quality data capture that includes electrocardiogram, digital pulse, uh, AI derived blood pressure, heart rate variability, and then associating that or tagging behaviors. And, and so really having the ability to connect the dots for people between how they behave and, and their lifestyle to their physiology. And we're also bringing in uh, areas of medications, medications management. So there's a lot of things that we can do as individuals that address ongoing health management prevention. So we call our solution a personal monitoring and management solution with an underlying artificial intelligence based platform. All of our competitors, or the vast majority of competitors, frankly, aren't really capturing that data. They're basically throwing a lot of that data out. Even some of the biggest device makers in the world are not actually tapping the richness of those data assets. And we are applying a neural net and machine learning based tools to really make that more meaningful for people. Interesting. So are, are there any milestones that you're able to talk about that our viewers can look forward to in the coming months? Yeah, good question. And, you know, the, there's a number of things that we're doing uh, in developing partnerships in the United States and Canada. So we're really focusing significantly on the North American marketplace uh, where there's a, there's a great amount of interest and great amount of need and, uh, in, in, the, in our solution. And we have lots of organizations uh, all, over the, all over the United States and Canada that are reaching out to us to, to really tap into our team, tap into our company, tap into our solution and our assets. And, uh, and so we'll be announcing some partnership activities uh, this year, uh, as well as some additional validation initiatives that are truly original, truly unique, and how we're really you know, tapping into existing health data systems, as well as, as the latest in wearable technologies. And it's gonna continue to evolve. So we're looking at other ideas around new sensor solutions. And so we're not a manufacturer but we do have really great skills and connections with, with uh, organizations that are making the latest in, in these new sensors technologies. So we get right into the engine room on, on these topics and uh, get right at the heart of, of moving that through wireless and mobile uh, communications. Uh, and, and so it's gonna, it's gonna really increase in, in, in speed as far as the interaction between health professionals uh, family members and individuals in, in, in managing their health on a daily basis. Um, Randy, I want to I want to jump in with a question here. You know, for for people that might not be familiar with the landscape of artificial intelligence, machine learning, can you maybe give us a, a brief on how big this industry is? It well, I I, I said earlier that the the overall market of AI and IoT, and I kind of put those together. You know, people will be hearing these terms more regularly, and I, I won't use IoT a lot because it probably confuses people. But there's a there's a there's so much interest around the wrist wearables, and the wrist is frankly it's known as the the best piece of real estate for physiological data capture, but it it isn't actually the stopping point. It's really just the starting point, and so we're seeing a lot of topics around. Uh, afibrillar uh, analysis and detection, uh, and uh, certainly blood pressure. Uh, there's there's sensors out there now detecting on temperature, skin temperature, and oxygenation, and so on. And so the thing is, is that these are just kind of just data data that's still you know more work to do to really make that uh, even more useful. Uh, but in you know with, with artificial intelligence based systems, there's a there's a lot of different areas to start to understand. Uh, as far as what, 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 what can you do with, with these systems and how does that information come together? I like to call it the Uber metaphor and, and really develop that concept so that you're understanding it. the Uber metaphor has two actors in it, a rider and a driver. And, and underlying all of that, though, is this incredible uh, information system, an intelligence-based system that optimizes the data flow across across the you know the whole spectrum of device 
to communications, to smart computer, and so on. And so you, you, you know, the companies that will be competing will be successfully competing. I, I would put us in that category are those that actually know how to assemble and optimize that end-to-end -end stack solution and not just capture data from disparate sources, but actually know where that data is coming from, know the quality of that data, know how to separate that data and know how to run that through, through, through systems, which are frankly going to become supercomputers. All of our resources are working on supercomputers on a daily basis to refine on these assets. And we're going to have computing systems and people interacting. And so how that comes together and how do we ensure that we're really reaching the quality of, of naturalness uh, in how these systems are working is, is what people are looking for from companies like ours. Perfect. Randy, I really appreciate that insight. So for our viewers that are interested in learning more about you, your team and your company and its technology, uh, what is your website? Are you guys available? Uh, like, are you guys on social media? Why don't you tell them where they can keep up with you? Yeah, for sure. Well, for AIML Innovations, uh, you want to go to AIML-innovations.com and you can find out more uh, about HealthGage from there too, but also at healthgage.com. And of course, we're going to be looking at other places to invest and other ways that we can really expand the value of AI innovations uh, as, as, as an organization that knows how to recognize uh, great assets that, uh, that are ready to take off. So that's where you can find us and uh, we really look forward to connecting with, uh, with those that are interested in your business. Perfect. Randy, again, we appreciate you taking the time to join us and talk to us about your company and team. We wish you guys nothing but success with your technology moving forward. And to everybody watching, this has been Randy DeGay, who's the CEO of AIML Innovations, Inc. Thank you very much for tuning in to another newly listed on the CST clip. Really, thank you so much. Thanks, Randy. Thank you for tuning in to another newly listed on the CSE. Please feel free to hit like and share this content and hit subscribe if you haven't already.